everybody. Welcome. I am Kyla Fury, aka Cage Tiger, and this is Uncaged Fury. In the morning this time, look how bright it is in here. It's like somebody turned on the sun all of a sudden. Um, I don't even have my overhead light on. This is just actual sunlight coming from the window. Uh, so today may end up being a technical difficulties filled day because one, my camera seems to be like a little edgier than usual, I guess. So we'll see. It might take me some tries to get it to come on back and forth. Um, but also my mouse is going. All my hardware is failing at once. It's great. So my mouse is occasionally registering two clicks when I click once. Um, so that might end up causing a problem for things like unmuting myself on the stream because when I like click the button it will like turn on and then off again immediately. So you know like if you don't hear me or something you know message me in chat so that I notice. Uh, because uh, yeah. Sad, sad, bad hardware. That's okay. In the in the future, I will get I will get stuff when it breaks for good. That's that's what I do. I wear stuff out until it's like completely broken, and only then do I get something new. If possible, I inherit it for free from somebody else, because uh, you know, I am a vulture like that. I'm trying to remember like of these which, of the components of my computer right now, what have I actually paid for? I think I paid for everything in the tower. Pretty sure this is like a keyboard I got from somewhere randomly because it says Dell on it and I never ordered any Dell parts. Um, this mouse is almost certainly secondhand. Uh, both of these monitors, one of them I think I bought cheap from a friend and one of them I like inherited from Sean maybe. Yeah, that's so so I, I live on scra you know scrabbled together technology. But anyway, Welcome to the show. I missed you guys last week. Um, I am starting a brand new schedule, which is why I missed last week, um, because I needed to sleep a lot that weekend, because I have been getting up at 5.30 every morning, which is a god-awful time that I do not recommend to anyone. Um, but this is basically because uh, I was listening to my friend Teddy's podcast, and if you don't uh, if you don't listen to it already, um, I recommend Google Playscape LA. It's on uh, Idle Thumbs. It's a very good podcast. It's my friend Teddy who uh, was in my class at USC and is an indie game de designer. He worked on Hyperlight. And he just uh, uh, he just finished working on Hyperlight Drifter, which just came out. Um, but he does uh, interviews with people in LA uh, who are in and adjacent to the game design scene. And it's a really cool podcast. Um, but they always talk about the creative process and, you know, like, what makes them motivated to make things and so on. And listening to it a bunch, I felt, like, really sad that I wasn't making stuff anymore because I was, like, always too exhausted from work to do anything after I got back. So, um, so I thought, you know what, I've, I've done it before where I, like, wake up extra early to do stuff. And uh, I can do it again. So I'm trying that. And part of that is I'm going to need to go to bed early on Sunday nights, so we're streaming Sunday mornings instead. Hence why we are here. That brings us to this morning. Dano, I am so sorry you have to get up at 5 a.m. I, uh, I do not envy you that. <coughs> that is a terrible thing, and no one should be subjected to it. Um, but from what I read on your Twitter, it sounds like you don't sleep at all ever anyway. So, um, But anyway... Let's get on with Majora's Mask. Uh, when we last left, we were in the Water Temple. I believe we had just gotten some ice arrows, and we were going to shoot an octopus with ice so we could use him as a step to turn on the red flow, which will give us access to different parts of the dungeon. Right? That sounds reasonable. So let's see if I can get my camera working enough to switch us over to the Majora's Mask scene. Hey! That even works. Okay. And we'll need some sound. Sound. Wait for it. <laughs> there it is. Okay. All right. Thank you all for joining me this morning. <coughs> Let's get to some video games. I'm gonna turn down my own headphones because it's a little loud for me. 
Oh, because I st still have my overhead speakers on. Hope that wasn't creating some awkward doubling for you guys. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Right, and we are on an owl save, which is very dangerous because owl saves are erased as soon as we get into the game, so we have to make sure... Do I have a fairy in a bottle? I do have a fairy in a bottle. I can just grab this one. Um, so I have to make sure that the game doesn't crash, which has happened to us before. Which means I'm going to have to, like, periodically just save to the emulator files just in case. Alright. Now, it has been two weeks that I've played this, so forgive me if I am terrible. Um, that's gonna be my excuse for being terrible. And away on the giant turtle we go! To the water temple! <coughs> Wave goodbye to the turtle. And how many of the little fairies do we have? We've collected six out of fifteen of the little fairy sprites. And uh, I think we gotta get to all the red places. We do have the, we have the, there they are, the ice arrows. So we can do stuff with ice now. I haven't tried them out yet, but I wanna start by trying them out on the Octorok thing. Because that, they said something about like, or the, the fairy that helps us out said something about how like, oh no no no, I knew you were there, I knew you were there. Um, Uh, she said something about how he could make a useful stepping stone if he wasn't so squishy or something like that. Which is a weird thing to say, but whatever. I am. Give me your loots. Oh, you didn't have any loots. Oh, too late. Gotta time that better. <laughs> I wonder what a Zelda-like game would be that would be like that was realistic for example temples that weren't some weird place laid out like giant puzzles well what it would be like is you get into the front of a temple there would you would be in ruins um there would be a column blocking the entryway and you'd never be able to get into it because you just you couldn't it would be impassable and then you would lose and the entire realm would die that's that's where you get with realism Unfortunate. Okay, so you guys see how there's this yellow pipe, and it's got stuff flowing down it. And that stuff is turning this water wheel in this direction and making that thing sprout up over there. But there's also a red pipe that has another thing that sprouts up over there that presumably turns this wheel in the opposite direction. But so far, we have not been able to turn on the, like, the, the water at the front end of the red pipe. So we're going to put on our fancy mask so we can swim. We're going to dive, dive down to, I think, the top. No, not that one. Um, yes, do that. That's seems effective. I think that's the entrance. who has throwable arm blades. You know, that's what fish do. <laughs> Link visits the Acropolis, takes some photos, tries to get rocks, gets arrested. 
Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like sounds like realistic. Realistic Zelda. We should start a realistic Zelda hashtag campaign on Twitter. Tweet me, tweet me your realistic Zelda stuff at Cage Tiger. Realistic Zelda hashtag. What do you think would happen in a totally realistic game? Oh man, looks like these guys didn't respawn since the last time I was here. So that's interesting. Oh, it's because I got the little fairy from here, and it registers only on all the enemies being dead, probably. Okay. That, I believe, is a thing I already got. That chest. Oh, I was gonna say I can kill this bomb shoe with uh, with my um, thing here, but that doesn't work because uh, killing the bomb shoe actually, I'll just get the rupees, yeah. Uh, killing the bomb shoe just, um, or rather, hook shotting the bomb shoe just draws the bomb shoe up to you. It doesn't actually, like, stop you in any way. Alright. Uh, where was Octorok room? Way I came in, wasn't it? Yes, okay. So somewhere I need to get to the Octorok room. Maybe this was the wrong way in. So let's see. Oh shit, I forgot about those arms. Let's go back to being a fish. And then with our arm blades. Arm-on-arm -arm combat. <laughs> there definitely wouldn't be any rodents that have evolved explosives on their tails. Probably not. I'm pretty sure that when I get the red type stuff, that this flow of this water will have changed the direction of its current. Oh, hey! There is a, there is a fairy here. Oh, I gotta take off this mask and put on the other one. We put on the creepy lady mask, and we'll get that fairy to come to us. Come to me. Yay! Okay, now, I can be Fish Link. Fish Link, the famous guitarist. Away! Oh yes, this looks promising. This looks like where I want to be. Come on, try that again. I will cut you in the throat. Aha! Now we go up and face the Octorok with our newly found ice bullet arrow. Piece. There's the Octorok. I need to scare him into a direction where I can then... Ow. Yes, Paddle says, if you could somehow step on top of that Octorok, I'd be able, I bet you'd be able to climb onto that pillar, but it's so squishy. There's gotta be something you can do. Like get hit by that bullet that's coming towards me. Let's replace the Octorok for now. Actually, kind of a creepy transformation, but now he has a nice block. No, not that direction. Why are there suddenly two Octoroks? I'm pretty positive there was only the one before. And there we go. Grab it. Push it. Push it, grab it, move it, pull it. Red one! 
water is flowing. Woohoo! Let's see where this takes us. We'll follow the water pipe. Oh, we can't go out that way. Current's reversed. Bam. Okay. Well, yes, but can I, can I swim? Yes, thank you. Ignore that dude. He is useless. Ha, what about here? Can I go down here? Yeah, I can. I am now in the tourney room. Han <coughs> is now turning. Still the same direction, I think, for now. I think I have to actually go and switch the turbines before it will turn in the opposite direction. That's okay, I can do that. Come on, Link. Come on. Get to the surface. The surface is very slowly. Alright, just, just get on any landmass. There you go. by using new arrows that I got? Probably. Curiosity. Is there a fairy in this room? There is. Somewhere in here is a fairy. skeleton fish just respawn. So, go to this chest. This will be rupees. Yeah, because that was a big one before. Okay, there it is. Come to me. Number eight, I'm halfway there. I can't bring potion bottles to me. That's annoying. Okay. Can't get up there as is. Um, can I like create ah, I can create a path. I'm guessing these are temporary. And this is going to be a problem with this. Yeah, there we go! Oh, maybe 
I'm supposed to shoot the empty slime to freeze it and use it as a stepping stone. Respawn. I dare you! Oh no! Oh good, he falls. <laughs> oh, I can grab it. about pushing the block before the enemy unfreezes. But, that's the right idea. Clearly the right idea. Oh, come on! That's not cool at all. Let's try that again. Come on, respawn. on the first try. Why is this, uh... Why is this such a problem? Oh, this is gonna waste all my magic power. There we go. Grab. Push. Climb. Jump. Good. how to get rid of those bomb shoes without dying. Alright. Now we are increasing the water flow. I mean, to be fair, like, as realistic Legend of Zelda dungeons go, the idea of, like, having mechanisms that are water-powered, that, like, you have to get water to flow through pipes in order to power the mechanisms, like, that's actually fairly tame and logical compared to some of these other places. Although why this is some kind of, like, temple or shrine doesn't make much sense because it, it looks more like a factory. But be a Goron, because Gorons drown immediately. Okay, so we've turned on the water. There's also a green pipe, which is interesting. supposed to be. They're like hand anemones. They're like zombie hands? Like zombie hand anemones. Oh, my God. 
seems to be flowing here. From wherever we were back out. So let's let's go back out to the main and see what happens. Okay, so that looks like this is now going. And it's going up. Good sign. Let's see if it's flowing back to the main room. job that they telegraph these, like whether the pipes are active or inactive, because it's already a pretty subtle thing. Like if you weren't expecting to be putting water through pipes, it might be really unclear like what you're doing and why in any and all parts of this. So, quieter when that thing is going. Okay. Now the red one's on. He's the red one to get up there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put one thing near to it now. Oh, I didn't make it. Okay. Try again. Luckily, I have a lot of magic. Ooh, that's good. That's about where I want to be. Get up on the thing. Get up on the thing. Now, can I... back up there and jump from the other side. Oh, but right, I need this to, I need this on to make those platforms go up there. That's it is. Powers of platforms to go up and down. I hate to be the plumber called in to fix this place. No kidding. Everybody's weak. 
weekend has been. I am enjoying myself so far. I had a 13th age game yesterday, our, our tabletop that we're playing. And uh, we had a hell of a wacky encounter. We had a bunch of. Um, a bunch of people defending this like giant power crystal at the core of their base and we were trying to sabotage it um so we tried to come in covertly but we were seen so we faked a uh a breach in the core to explain away like all the horrible violent things that were happening i think i can jump there from here i mean i get a better angle on this part I want to try and shoot a platform close to it. But, uh, what happens when I shoot the pillar? Does it stop at its current height? No, it actually does nothing to it. Okay. Oh, that's weird. That hit. <laughs> Treat it like candy. Yeah, that's probably fair advice. Ah, I knew that guy was there and I was trying to avoid it. Not go well. Am I gonna get squishy? Okay. Okay. okay, let's see if there's any magic out the way I can. I'm gonna save this just in case. Save. There we go. Okay. There's some barrels here. I also only have five arrows here.
just just uh just to quite the experience and uh yeah do it it's one of those games that's best without a ton of spoilers um the only thing i knew going into it was that it is a dating sim about dating guys at a cat cafe like you, you are an employee at a cat cafe and you like have the option to date your other co-workers but that was all i knew going into going into it and that made it a, a really fun experience for me so i recommend other people also try this experience. Give me your butt. There we go. Give me your butt so I can kill your butt. Oh hey! Nice. Will you also give me a pot of things? No, you just give me things. I care less about that. getting on this thing. Is it, can I really get up there if I have an ice thing that's right up at the edge? Like, I don't know if that's possible. It's still a pretty tall jump, even if you're like right there. I don't suppose I can push up to the water platform. That would probably be a little too much to know before. hours, 120 hours. You guys are hardcore into this. Aha, 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 aha. When in doubt, look up. Bam. Woo. Nope. And now I just screwed it up. Okay, but look, I figured it out though. Like, just because I fail at execution does not mean I didn't figure it out. I probably can't reach it from here, I had a guess. Yeah, no, I have to go all the way back around. Oh well. At least I don't really need magic for it, so... Yeah! On the surface of the water. Zix. Now. Go away. <laughs> Yay! Do -do -do -do. We made it. No, grab the thing. That doesn't make sense. I think in the world of physics, that's the thing that more or less makes sense. Yeah, no, that's a, it's a pretty common dev problem if you need to get players to look up. Um, they talk about all, that a lot in the portal commentaries and the half-life commentaries uh, about this. Um, about, like, the, the cues you need in order to make a player look up, and it's more than you think. It's always more than you think it should be. Um, because it's just, it's not a very common instinct to, like, see what's up above you. Like, if you think about it, even in, like, normal life, you don't end up, like, having a reason to look directly above you. Like, how much do you know about your own ceiling, right? <laughs> there could be a giant spider, Skulltula, above you right now. You probably wouldn't even know, because you're, uh, you know, we're not conditioned to look up. We usually don't have a good reason to. Buckster, are you a short person? Is that why you look up a lot in real life? I'm a pretty short person. I look up at people a lot. It's not like at ceilings and stuff. I usually end up looking down a lot, actually, because I don't want to trip on. Okay, 
Okay. So... I guess I have to get back the same way I did before. The point is that the water is going in the opposite direction now, which means that I can get into some other... Um... Chest dive into that somersault. That's... That's not going to break your neck at all. Um... The, uh... Oh, I, end, I just end up looking down because I don't like tripping on things. Or stepping in things. Alright. Thing is spinning in opposite direction. The question is, is that thing on the far side still going... Last. It is. At least it seems to be more investigate more closely. No! Damn it! down now, but that might actually still be, uh, it might be climbable if it's going down? You would think it'd be more climbable if it was going up, <laughs> rather than down, but. Where did I end up after all that? Is this the thing? Yeah, that's the thing. Maybe it was actually going down before as well, I Okay, this is now, now the current is going in the opposite direction in this little cave path here. So, let's see what's this way. Uh, that's bomb. It's that way. Okay. We are in a new place. We have found a new place. Also, I should probably take a break soon.
across to that opening. Ah, okay. Nope, nope, nope. Not even close. Alright, but I know how to get there. Sort of. Out of the piranha water. Taking Link because he's a better jumper. apologize for being terrible, by which I mean I apologize for how terrible the, like, recognition of grabbing and edge, edge jumping and so on is in this. No! Why do you jump? Uh, maybe I should be fishing boy since he apparently doesn't jump far enough to out, out jump the platform. Possible. There's got to be a way to do it. Get to the other side and then pause for look at what my options are. <laughs> what? <laughs> Make that. Maybe as Link I could have made that actually. done it before. It like contextually reads as jump. 
Um, but if uh, there's like times where that triggers in weird ways, see that. See that? It's up there. How do I get up there? try and get off at the center spindle and then get on the flat of the other one and jump across, but that seems like impossible. Is there a way to turn off the water flow? And then leave these, because if I could leave these flat, then I could just walk Take a short break. All right. Should maybe open the blinds a little bit more. It's starting to get a little dimmer. All right. Camera, are you going to cooperate this time? It is. Yay. Okay. Uh, so I'll be right back. I'm going to take a short break, play some music, um, and then we'll try this again. <laughs> 